Hello investors, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Tolisile Rotate Investors speaking here. And uh, if you are new to the channel, please stay tuned and watch the whole video. You will gain a lot. And if you enjoy the content, please do subscribe and click the like button for me. All right, uh, in this video, guys, I want to share with you uh, my analysis on Sibanya Steel Water, which is a mining company. So I will be covering uh, the fundamental analysis and also the technical analysis. All right. So without wasting any time, let's just go straight to the fundamentals first. All right. So any mining company that you are actually um, trying to invest into, it's very, very important for you to know uh, this stuff here, which I'm about to present to you. Here, I want to present to you uh, first what we called the Mineral Reserves and Resources Declaration, which is the report that uh, mining companies, they are obliged to actually provide out there to investors uh, annually, which indicates the assets that they have in terms of the block of grounds that they are mining. So these blocks of ground, they are actually classified into different categories. We have what we call a mineral reserves into their reports. Uh, and then the other one, it's also called a mineral resource. So there's a mineral reserve and the mineral resource. So now mining companies, they are actually uh, obliged to declare this information per annum to, uh, to investors. So a mineral reserve is just a block of ground that is ready to be mined now and make profit. But uh, a mineral resource, on the other hand, is just a block of ground uh, which is there, but it's not ready to be mined now and then make profit. You still need to do a detailed engineering uh, research to convert it into what uh, into a reserve so when it's a resource it means that now uh, you still have to do exploration to drill boreholes and then so that you can take samples and take those samples to the lab and check the amount of uh, gold that is there if it's a block of uh, ground that has gold you need to check the value of gold that is contained there and then you also need to consider other factors such as uh, the gold price and then the geometry of that block of ground. Uh, once uh, that detailed study proves that this resource, it can be mined, it's mineable, then now that's when we'll call it a mineral reserve. So it will be now uh, ready to be mined now and make profit. So now this is important to investors because if it's out there, you can actually check as an investor and analyze it to actually uh, evaluate the amount of assets that this mining company has because you want to be buying companies uh, that increases their assets so if a mining company increases its assets or not uh, you will see that from these reports if they are increasing their mineral reserves which means it's blocks of grounds that are available to be mined now and make profit if these blocks are increasing that's good and also, even if these mineral resources, the blocks that still need further research and uh, uh, evaluations, they're also increasing, that's good because it means that the more they have these mineral resources, the higher the chances that they will be converted into mineral reserves, which are ready to be mined now, which are assets. So you need to know this stuff if you're investing into mining companies. It's very, very, very important. All right. Now, yeah, uh, this is a website for Sivani, actually. They are declaring those uh, these reports that I just talked about now, which is the mineral reserves and resources and also exploration results. All right. Now, as you can see here from the first bullet, this is the highlight as uh, at December 31, 2020. Currently now we're on 2020. Now, a 40% increase in platinum group metals mineral reserve uh, at the SA uh, PGM, which is Platinum Group Metals Operation, to 39.5 mega ores. So now there's been an increase in what? In mineral reserves uh, in this uh, Platinum Operation for Sibanya. So that is good. That is positive news. You see an increment of 40% into this block of ground that is ready to be mined currently now and make profit. That is good. This increase is caused by what? Primarily due to the inclusion of the Americana k4 project so now this is a maricana the maricana mine they have a, they have a project there uh, so that project it has proved to be what uh, to be feasible to be economically feasible actually it can be mined and you can make money out of that uh, 
uh, mine there at Marikana. So now, uh, here according to this report, it has added what? It has 12.7 mega ores of platinum and also the Clip Fontaine Open Cast project. This is another mine in Open Cast, the surface mine, uh, which has what? 0 0.1 mega ores following the detailed feasibility study. So, this is the study that they conduct. Uh, to check if the block of grounds that they have at Marikana and also at Clip Fontaine Open Cast, it's uh, economically feasible. It can be mined and we can make money out of it. So now, uh, the study was a success. As you can see here, there hasn't been an increase into PGM uh, group, platinum group metals, uh, mineral reserves by 40% in Sabine Steel Water due to this project, which have proved to be what? To be economically feasible. All right. So that's good. And then when you check further to this report here, you can see that a 7% increase also in uh, PGM also mineral res resources, same thing now, uh, but there it was reserves, but there is resources now. Remember resources is just a block of ground that is still requires uh, further research to convert it into what, into this guy, a reserve, which is a block of ground, which is ready to be mined now, and we can make money if we mine it now. So now if these resources, they are increasing, that's good because now there's a potential of them to be converted into reserves and we mine them. So now it shows that the assets are increasing and also the life of a mine is also increasing, which means now you can still buy Sabine and hold it for a longer term. It's still going to be into existence for the next longer period of time. So now we see here a 7% increase, which is come up, which is 5.8 mega ores increase in what in PGM. The platinum group metals mineral resources with additional mineral reserves of 0 0.8 uh, ounces defined at East Boulder Mine, that is US, now replacing the combined depletion of 0 0.7 mega ores. Like I said before that we are mining, depleting assets in the mining industry. So as you mine, you are depleting your ground, you're depleting your assets. But the more you do this exploration, now we are finding these resources and then you're converting them into mineral reserves, meaning that now you are replacing what you have depleted, meaning that now you are adding more assets. But if you don't do this uh, mineral exploration, like you don't find these resources and reserves, you don't continuously do this research, which is exploration, uh, the life of a mine can be shortened to that particular mine and it, it, it might not be attractive to investors because it's the company is not increasing its assets. But you can see here, yes, Sibanya is doing quite well in terms of increasing its mineral reserves and the resources, according to this report here at Sibanya uh, Stillwater website. So now there was an increase of these reserves, which uh, actually replaced what we depleted, what we mined in the previous years, which was 0 0.7 mega ores. We replaced it by 0 point mega ores more reserves, which were added, which were which which was our mineral resources which were converted into reserve due to our engineering studies. All right. Combined stable mineral reserves of 26.9 mega ores. Uh, that is the U.S. operation, which is also doing well in terms of increasing its reserves. Uh, this is a good report so far uh, in terms of assets uh, increment within Sabangin Steel Waters balance sheet. All right. So far, if you go to the gold operation, you can see here mineral resources as a gold operation decreased by uh, due to exclusion of infrastructure mineral resources at Trefondin, of course, yeah, the resources they've increased, they, they've decreased. I mean, uh, in terms of the gold operation, remember, Sabanya Steel Water is a diversified uh, mining company. It mines different commodities. It's involved into platinum and also into gold. But currently, in gold, in terms of the assets, they've been actually decreasing because of why. Uh, it seems like a lot of operations they are actually scaling down. They are shrinking, and they are getting smaller and smaller because gold has been mined for quite a long period of time and Spanya kept on buying these old gold mines but then converting them into profitable assets uh, under the leadership of the good CEO Mr. Neil Fronman. All right. But if you go up here to this statement, you can see that Spanya, it has also increased a 0 point by 0 0.8 uh, mega ores by doing what? By from DR, uh, DRD gold so now it has increased its reserve by owning what? DRD, by increasing its ownership to this company, which is called DRD Gold, whereby they increase their uh, shareholding, their ownership from 38.05 to 50.1%, meaning that now Sebanye, it owns DRD Gold, which is also a mining company that is 
uh, its core business is to reclaim the tailing dams, which is the waste from the plant. Now, most of the mining companies, they have plants whereby now they extract gold from the rock, but then their plants, they are not efficient enough. You'll find that now what they discard, which is a discard, what they, the leftovers after they've extracted gold from the rock, what is left there, it still has gold because the plant, it can never be 100% efficient. Now, DRD, it has advanced technology that they use. They build their plant using you know, this advanced technology to reclaim gold from those waste dams. So, Sibanye, it owns 50% of this company, which is called DRD Gold. And it also has, this company has also very, very juicy financial statements. So now by owning this company, this company has increased, it has increased what? 0 0.8 mega ores of its water reserves. So meaning that is also an additional reserve to Sibanye store water. All right, which is a good thing. All right, so far, uh, this information, I hope you guys, you understand how to read these resources and reserves. You have to go to the company's website and check under uh, investors and then just, or you can just type the name of a company the mining company and then after the name of the after the name of the mining company you can just tape type mineral reserves and resources uh, declaration reports then you they will just it will just take you through uh, the correct website where uh, that the report is shown all right now let's compare here 20 uh, 20 resources and reserves you can see here the US platinum operation which is indicated by this color here uh, it's uh, here it has 18 percent in terms of the uh, this pie chart here these are reserves uh, the u.s operation contributes 18 percent to sibanya still water mineral reserves and then now the south african pgm operation now south african platinum operation it has 45 percent it contribute 45 percent uh, into sibanya platinum uh, operations and then if you go to gold our sa gold operation they con they have they contribute like what uh 13 percent into into sibanya re mineral reserves and then now we have projects uh this project actually uh these are projects that are connected to find more reserves and also resources and this project to increase the assets of sibanya still water in within the gold sector gold operation they contribute uh four percent to mineral reserves all right so if you check now the resources, which are block of grounds that have a potential to be converted to this guy here, which is a block of ground that is ready to be mined, uh, it's also doing well. You can see uh, the proportion of the uh, U.S. operation here. It has 80%. Remember, Sibanye, it also has operation in U.S. and also Zimbabwe and in South Africa. So now the U.S. operation has 18% in terms of the resources that are actually have a potential to be converted into reserves which is now the asset that we can mine now and make money and then if you check now the u.s project uh, here it, shown by this color here which is this one 45 percent and then you also go to sa operations which is here 18 percent and then if you go to gold operation you can see now the gold operation in terms of the resources is 13 percent still the same as reserves and then now the gold project is indicated by that. And then now the U.S. gold project there, which is 1.5%. So now they still have uh, resources that are almost same proportion as the mineral reserves. So now as long as we have these resources, uh, there's still a potential for these guys to be converted here. And then now these blocks of ground, they are ready to be mined. And then now the assets, there is a huge uh, like, uh, probability for the assets of Sibanye increasing all right so this is a report that you need to know which is called uh the mineral resource and reserves uh, declaration because this is basically the mineral exploration results and the resources and the reserves so uh, every mining company they have to report this to investors so before you invest into any mining company you need to know this now based on this information here with an increase of reserves in Spanish still water if you go here to the same way as Sibanye website and check the life of a mine of Sibanye, it's been estimated to be at 2046, which means Sibanye still water will be in existence up until 2046.
based on those reserves and resources that I just shared with you. But of course, remember, this number can change as they increase their exploration activity, whereby they find finding new more crowns of gold and platinum. This number can also increase. And exploration is something that has been done uh, throughout the existence of the mining uh, company until they reach a point whereby they can't find any more uh, blocks of ground that have the, uh, that they have these minerals so this number it's not a stationary number it can change it can go down or it can go up but so far it's quite nice which means now Sibanya from now it will be in existence for the next 25 years so it's still uh, a great buy to hold based on that for now uh, but we're not yet done we're still on the fundamentals all right so now this company is going to be in existence up until 2046 so if you're investing for your kids and you're still on your early 20s it's a still a good investment all right but we're not yet done with fundamentals remember okay if you go further in terms of the world top producers in terms of the platinum uh, you will notice that Sibanye is ranked third in terms of the world top platinum producers so this is also another positive piece of information from the fundamental perspective point of view. Number one, here yeah, it's Anglo-American Platinum. And then number two, it's Impala Platinum. And then now on the third place globally, Sibanye is ranked as uh, the number three in terms of the platinum uh, producers. Remember that Sibanye is also diversifying, is also buying other companies uh, that are involved into what what is currently trending now, which is the lithium batteries with electrical vehicle cars. Because uh, earlier on, it was reported that it was actually closing a deal with a mining company that mines lithium in Europe. So they are getting involved into different commodities, trying to hedge, you know, minimizing the risk, you know. Uh, because if you only one mine one commodity, what happens when the price of that commodity goes down? You are in loss, you're not making money, you start to retrench. But if you are involved into different commodities, even if one commodity uh, goes down in terms of the price, the others can make up for that one which goes down. They can actually act as what? As a hedge. If one, uh, like for example, if a gold price goes down, uh, the platinum price can go up or lithium price can go up. And then it will hedge the impact of uh, the losses that are incurred with the drop in the gold price as platinum, as the platinum price goes up or the lithium price goes up. So that is a good hedging. It's involved into different commodities. That's another good thing about Sebanya Steel Water from the fundamental perspective point of view. All right. So far, since we have uh, so far, uh, actually, since I've shared with you, uh, the reserve and the resources in terms of the assets of Sibanye and also uh, the ranking of Sibanye in terms of uh, globally, in terms of the production of uh, platinum. Let's just go to fundamentals now uh, in terms of balance sheets, income statements and the cash flow statements, which is another part of fundamental analysis, which is I think it's good. All right, here I'm on Guru Focus here. Uh, the, market cap, the market capitalization for Sibanye is 193.77 billion. Uh, it's a large cap stock. So if you go through this website here, Guru Focus, you will see that this company, in terms of the financial strength, it's been rated as 6 out of 10, which is not bad. Uh, it's good. And then if you check the profitability rank, it's 8 out of 10, which is good. So if you check the return on equity, it's 60. Very, very, very high which is the return on the amount uh, that shareholders pop into the company. So which means now when shareholders pop a certain amount of, of money to the company, they are getting 60% back. So it's very, very efficiently in terms of using uh, the shareholders' equity. That's a good thing. If you check the net margin, which is the net profit divided by the revenue, it's 23%. Normally, you're looking at good man net margins of uh, whereby now the, you can say now, in most cases, the one that do good, good companies, they have net margin of 20% above. So this one is 23. That is good. That's a good thing. Very, very good ratio to use also to analyze these companies. So the net margin is higher, 23, and the return on equity is higher. And also the return on asset is quite higher, 24.74%. 24 
in terms of the Petrosky F score, which is um, one of the number that is used by investors to actually gauge if the company it's likely to go bankrupt or not. So uh, normally you would prefer companies that have a higher Petrosky F score from eight up to nine, then from seven going upward, it's also improving. It's a good one. So uh, then in terms of the ultimate Z score, it's uh, gray here. It's been rated gray. Uh, where in terms, this one it indicates in terms of uh, financial stress. Is the company under financial stress, or is it safe, or is it uh, intermediate? Here we can see it's been rated gray, which is intermediate. All right. So now if we go to the summary of uh, the balance sheet and the income statement and the cash flow statement on the same website again without moving. Uh, if I scroll down here, you can see here, this is the summary of the income statement. Uh, the, the white bars here, they represent the revenue of the company, meaning down now it's the sales growth, you know, the amount of cash that they get after they've sold their product, which is now platinum and also gold. Uh, now it's, it's going to be lithium. You can see that the revenue of the company has been growing quite nicely exponentially which is a good thing but if you check the net income now which is the revenue minus the cost uh, they were not making a lot initially and i can understand that because company uh, this company they've been buying companies like companies such as marikana and also the cook operations they've been acquiring these assets you know closing this deal by buying other mining companies that are actually under financial stress, then they would buy them, then they will turn them into profitable assets. So of course, all their net income was buying these assets, was being in reinvested back into the business. They were also using their shareholders' equity and also some debt from what? From the banks, of course, that's obvious. And then you can see now they started to make money in 2020 when the gold price and platinum price were up higher during the pandemic when the stock market crashed and then gold was used as a safe haven assets, hence gold prices were higher and then they made more cash. You can see revenue was up higher there and then they started to make a lot of cash, which is the net profit. Net profit started to grow at, in 2020, previous last year. So that is good. You can see now the company now is profitable now. And then if you check the summary of the balance sheet here now, can see the company uh, initially they had a lot of debt which was rising exponentially which is the bad thing but in this case for this company it was good because they were buying companies they were adding assets buying mining companies that were like under financial stress and then they were turning those assets into profitable uh, assets so of course they were using debt to buy that but you can see even cash to the apple and sheet it was also growing the green bars remember debt is the red bars it was growing and currently now in 2020 last year they had more cash than the debt you can see here they have more cash than the debt it seems like they've turned the tables around instead of having more debt now they have more cash than the debt on their balance sheet meaning now things are starting to look good with sebanye which is good so this financial statement so far by looking at the income statement and also the balance sheet summary it's good it's quite good and then now let's further go to the cash flow statement here the white bars they represent cash flow from operating activities so you can see that is growing exponentially that is good and then now the the green bars in this cash flow statement they represent the free cash flow the amount of cash that the company is left with after it has paid all the expenses for the company to actually operate so it's growing exponentially too here which is a good thing uh, you want to see that and then the net income you can see there it's been growing and then in 2020 it was higher it spiked up that is a good thing you can see the growth there so from the financial statements here in terms of the income statements and then the summary from the balance sheet and the cash flow statements the company is doing well and uh, i'm not surprised because we've seen that from uh, the report of the mineral resources and the reserves and also exploration results we have seen a quite increase of assets there in terms of the mineral reserves and also the commodity prices currently from last year and this year they've been rising they've been going upward they've been doing well and they will continue to do that due to a uh, possibility of a rise of inflation because remember now uh, 
interest rates they are they've been dropped lower by central banks due to the pandemic you know just trying to stimulate the economy because we had economic contraction around the world due to the pandemic so now once you drop interest rates it becomes cheaper to borrow money and that increases inflation so when inflation goes up commodity prices tend to go up so of course that will favor a lot of mining companies and also sibanya still water it's one of them well in terms of the valuation here you can see sibanya still water is undervalued uh, it's trading below the black line here which is the intrinsic value you can see currently it's there all right so it's uh, undervalued so it's still uh, a good stock to buy and hold it's worth taking the risk all right and then let's scroll further down to check uh, how is Banya doing in terms of the price action compared to its competitors? All right. Mm. There we are. Remember now here, the combine that I am analyzing is represented by the blue line here on that is graph. You can see it's there. That's a ticker symbol. Johannesburg Stock Exchange, SSW. That is the Basibanya Stelota. And then now these are the competitors for this company within the same industry, same sector. You can see that Sabanya Steel Water is trading above. The price of this blue line is above uh, all these two companies which are actually below Sabanya. It shows that Sabanya actually in terms of the competition, it's quite doing well compared to its competitors. So that's a good thing again. And then now if you scroll further down, they have just get information about the industry, which is basic material and its metals and mining. And then this is just a description of this company uh, in terms of its operation. Where now Sabine Stelota is a South African focused mining company. The group currently owns and operates five underground and surface gold operation in South Africa. They cooked and then DRD Gold, which is another company, they own 50% of that. I just showed you that. And then that operation is Three Fontaine. And then the Truth operation in the West Vet, Vitastrand region. And the Petrix operation in Southern Free State province. In addition to mining, the company owns and manages extraction and processing facilities at its own operation, where gold bearings are treated and benefited to produce gold dough. The gold dough is further refined at Rand Refinery into gold bars with a purity of at least 99.95%. And then you can just read all this for you to understand the core business of the company but it's just a mining company you don't have to just think hard but they are mining what gold and platinum and they're now currently involved into lithium and then they are more ambitious in terms of diversification all right now the risk that i see with sabanya it's um, because uh, the growth of sabanya of course it's been growing under the, the leadership of the great ceo mr neil fornman so of course uh what i think if uh, neil Froman actually retires that might be uh, another factor that you need to consider uh, now uh, the stock can see the share price actually reacting to that for a short term by being volatile and going downward because investors actually uh, they might sometimes invest based on who is the ceo in terms of the leadership because he has i think he has done a quite great work quite good work in terms of growing Sibanya to where it is now by acquiring all the assets uh, that actually uh, Sibanya has acquired. So if he retires, and then of course that could cause some short-term volatility to the stock price of Sibanya, Mr. Daniel Fronman, uh, the great CEO of Sibanya Stillwater. All right, now let's go to technical chart just to check the price of Sibanya of how it is doing. Well, in terms of the price action, Sibanya Steel Water is in an uptrend. You can see that it goes up, it comes back, it goes in wave pattern up, down, up, down, up. Currently now is retracing. So now, of course, this pattern is quite predictable. So the next move that you're expecting is going way upward because of why uh, the price chart in terms of going up and down, it confirms, actually it, it, it's aligned with the fundamentals. Fundamentals are good. The price action is also good. It's going upward. It's trending upward in the wave uh, pattern. All right. So now the points where you can look for entry point, you can start adding shares there if you were to buy, if you like the company. And also if it comes back to this green line that I've thrown here, which is another level of support, you can start adding more shares even there. So if you check the paper of this uh, chart, I've, 
uh, I've used these lines here, the blue line, the green line, and the red line, which are called moving averages. You can see uh, when the price comes to this green line here, it tends to be rejected and it goes back upward. This green line, which is the moving average, not this one here, the horizontal one, the one that is sloping up with the price, it acts as support. Every time the price comes closer to this moving average, it goes back up. So now if the price comes back all the way here, this is the point where I will be also looking forward to add and buy more shares. And then I will be expecting for the price to go upward again. But then also if it goes further down, I will add even more shares. Then I will be expecting for the price to reverse and go upward again from the technical side. All right. All right, guys. So far, uh, I think I have shared with you quite uh, a lot in terms of Sebanya. So that's my analysis for me. And if you have any question, please leave a comment below and if you like the video and you enjoy the content and you have learned a lot uh, from my analysis uh, please do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new uh, and i will produce this more um, informative content on uh, different uh, companies around uh, in our joint spec stock exchange uh, into this channel all right with that being said guys i've come to the end of this video and i will see you in uh, into the next video that I will be producing uh, into this beautiful channel. All right, guys. Bye. Peace.